So we're here at the Fairview Estate, which has got the Otis house. As you can see all the moss on the trees in the background. This is the house from Lucio Fulci's The Beyond, also known as the Otis house. A couple other films were filmed here, um, but I'm just gonna turn the camera around so you can see the wonderful view. We're down by the river here in sunny New Orleans. Lovely day today. We picked a really good day to come down here. So this is an amazing feature about this place. All the moss on the trees. It's absolutely beautiful. I had my first encounter with fire ants. Got bitten all over my legs, but it was worth it to come to this place. This area is absolutely beautiful. Um, the lady, the tour guide, she said she can come back about three o'clock to hopefully let us in into the house. So, I'm hoping we can stay there. There's dragonflies all around this place. But we're just walking around the per perimeter fence at the moment. But it hasn't changed at all. As you can tell, it really lives up to the atmosphere from the movie. With the moss on the trees, it's it's fantastic. It's down on the, I think that's the Mississippi down there. There's like a swamp over here as well. A little bit of a swamp. Just to give you a rough. Don't want to go too near it because it's a little bit marshy there. But it really gives some atmosphere around here. So we're on the far corner of the house where the hand, one of the handymen fall off the corner. But I just wanted to show this behind the water and stuff and just the moss on the trees around here. It's just amazing. This place is just full of atmosphere and it's lovely. It's such a warm day here today. I've done the right thing by putting um, shorts and t-shirt on that. That's for certain. Um, but I just want to show you around. So and turn the camera around but look at this the river comes right up I don't want to go too close to the river it's a little bit swampy around here and just look at the moss yeah, the lady said she can let us in about three o'clock, but I'm just really loving this. This is, you know, second day here. It's just amazing. And I'm gonna walk up to the house. That's my bag there. I've been, I, I'm, I'm a bit wary where to leave my bag because there's my first experience with fire ants, bit all my legs and my ankles. Um, but yeah, this is the exterior to the Otis house. And that is where it fell down. The eyes! The eyes! <gasps> it's an absolutely beautiful house. I can tell why this location was picked for the movie. I can't wait to get inside. The lady was really, really, really nice. And I've just got to pan the camera around here. Look at the... It's just so much wildlife around here. And then I'm assuming that's the Mississippi over there and then you've got these little runoffs um, I don't know if that's where they pull up in the boat but you've got also that that I love that area that is fantastic and just the moss on the trees it's just unbelievable around here so we're inside the ground now the grounds of the Otis house um, obviously a lot nearer to the house now I just love this let me show you around what I love about this is that it's just 
they've kept the old style and there's the damp on the windows the moss and uh, got the entrance here and the pathway that goes around there is a, there is a back entrance here as well that tree is I love it I don't know if it's uh, picking up the sound of all, all the birds around here wildlife but it truly is There's a hornet's nest up there. I can see there's hornets flying around on the thing upstairs. Yeah, and the lady's gonna give us a tour at three o'clock, which is really nice of her. wait on the porch apparently until she's finished the tour she's just in just can't believe I'm here um, this was like a holy grail um, horror place for me you know I've been to one of my other favorite places um, the basket case location which which is the Hotel Broslin in New York and now I'm at the place where they shot Lucio Fortress to be on aka seven doors of death and uh, yeah I've only ever known it as the beyond believe I'm on the, the front porch. It's fantastic. Anyway, I'll wait until we get called in. See you in a bit. I thought we'd do a bit of commentary for this last part. It's going into the Otis house. I wanted to keep this bit a little bit private because the conversation was between myself and the owner of the place. Uh, and my friends, so I thought I'd do a bit of a commentary. So walking in through a window that leads to a balcony, the, the windows open up like a door, uh, and room 36 is just on the on the left there, which is, features very predominantly in the film. At first, we wasn't allowed to film inside here, and then a woman warmed up to me. I took a load of pictures. I was more interested in getting photographs uh, inside. And this is the stairwell which features very predominantly in, in Lucio Fulci's The Beyond. And uh, yeah, nothing has changed about this house. Um, it was just a very, very eerie atmosphere. I filmed this during uh, November 2019, still warm, different climate out in Louisiana. And uh, yeah, this was a lovely place. The Otis House, as it's called. I call it The Beyond House. You've got a kitchen over there to the left that features in the film predominantly. And that's the living room, which was also in a film. And this is the main entrance where Katrina McCall runs in and out of numerous times. I'll try to stick some pictures up uh, along with this video as well. But I just wanted to film a commentary because I wanted to keep this quite private. That's, that's my friend's son. Um, I just wanted a bit of privacy on this bit, you know. That's why I filmed the commentary. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this look at a place that is stuck in a, in a time capsule, to be honest, since 1981. Lucio Fulci's The Beyond, I absolutely love the film. It brings back so many memories. I'm returning this year. I'll take my camera, do some more videoing and, and photos, uh, and go to a few more locations. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Take care.